Well that was a lot more agreeable WASNT after last year's StubHub sponsored awkwardness, 2017 marked a serious return to form for the Q Awards. Boosted by some impressive star power, Q managed to unite a host of icons with a quick-fire ceremony that never threatened to outstay its welcome. It was timely too with Liam Gallagher sitting proudly at number one in the album's chart and a rock revival shaping up nicely. The current crop were also recognized, with Ed Sheeran, Stormzy and Ranbone Man all honored, but it was the resurgent Gallagher who left the biggest lasting impression. The only double winner of the night, the former Oasis frontman was named Q Icon and Best Live Act. Here, Music Week looks back on some of the most memorable moments from a sparkling evening at London's famous Roundhouse, 90s revival if there was a common thread at the 2017 Q Awards, it was the presence of a host of 90s legends who have stood the test of time. From Liam Gallagher and Richard Ashcroft's budding bromance to Damon Albarn collecting best album for Gorillaz Humans and Tim Burgess popping up on stage, it was a night when the old guard flexed their muscles. Not too big for his The Booth Stormzy picked up Best Solo Artist and Skepta presented Liam Gallagher with a Q Icon Award yet more proof, if it were needed, of Graham's unstoppable mainstream appeal. It's an honor to be in the room with so many legendary people, said Stormzy. It's a credit to the man himself that, in such esteemed company, he did not seem remotely out of place. Manic Wednesday introduced by actor Michael Sheen Libraries gave us power and this band gave us power. The Evergreen Manic Street Preachers were deserved winners of this year's Q Inspiration Award. Name-checking absent friends Richie Edwards and Philip Hall, Nicky Wire reminisced our first Q Award was 21 years ago and it was really different than the Q magazine circulation was like 186,000, fucking amazing the Manics later played a storming 75-minute greatest hit set to conclude the evening, sounding as pristine as the ever had, Benjamin Clementine the 2015 Mercury Prize winner appeared to have graduated from the Fleetwood Fox School of Presenting when he came out on stage to award the best album prize to Gorillaz for Humans. Clementine seemed utterly bemused at the task in hand, bellowing out the names of the nominees while the VTs were rolling. No music awards do is complete without an element of farce, right? Sheer Courage host Christian O'Connell cruelly speculated that the person who knocked Sheeran off his bike must be seen his Game of Thrones cameo. How very dare he, love him or hate him, Ed Sheeran is a trooper and not even a broken arm was going to stop him being crowned the best act in the world today. Click here for a full list of winners from the 2017 Q Awards.